couple of months back, I made this video in which I looked at how much money I make off of YouTube as a content creator with two channels. The biggest feedback I got from that channel is, Kev, this is great but how much do you earn from all the other stuff around your YouTube channels as well? Which I didn't include in that last video, which is a very reasonable question, which leads me to this video. We've just hit the end of the tax year, so there's no better time to do it because I had to work these numbers out anyway. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly what I earned from all income sources in the last 12 months. Hello folks, welcome back to another video here on the channel. I'm Kev and I've probably clickbaited the title to this video with something trendy and YouTube-y, like what I earn in a year as a YouTuber with 200,000 subscribers as a 23-year-old in LA or whatever. Well, all that stuff that I'm not, a t I'm not 23. I'm not in LA, but the other stuff is true. And that's how you have to, that's what you have to do to get clicks here on YouTube. I think the other way to get clicks is to make sure people leave a nice big thumbs up on the video. It's the best thing you can do to help out the algorithm. So if you do like this kind of content, please make sure you hit that like button. It really does help me out. I massively appreciate it. All that kind of good stuff. And if you do enjoy this kind of content, make sure you subscribe, turn the notifications on, all that kind of stuff as well. At the very least, you'll be able to watch this version of this video in a year's time and find out how how much I earn next year to see if it's gone up or down. Fing fingers crossed for up, fingers crossed for up. So without further ado, let's jump into it and we're gonna start with the YouTube stuff that we, we kind of looked at in the previous video. We looked at what I'd earned in my five years as a YouTuber and it did cover the, mo the majority of this period. But obviously we've now hit the end of a tax year. So we're gonna be looking specifically at the amounts that got paid to me between the 5th of April and the 5th of April or whatever the cut is, the 4th and the 5th or, you know where the cutoffs are. If you're in the UK, if you're in other countries, your tax year probably runs at different times. Before I show you the numbers though, I do just want to get a little disclaimer out there to say that these are the headline numbers before anything has come off of them. Um, a lot of these numbers, before they even hit my bank account, money is going out in various directions. Certainly um, the YouTube figures that you're going to see up front, a, there's a, a decent sized cut of that and a big enough cut for me to notice it and um, that goes off to my management company before it even comes to me. So they get paid a cut of what I earn um, and in return for that, they, uh, they arrange a lot of my brand deals and all that. They do lots of stuff in the background for me. So they earn their money, but be aware that these numbers aren't quite as high as they appear on first inspection. And of course, these are also my revenue numbers, my top line income numbers before I've taken off any of my business expenses, before I've paid any of my tax. So this is not the profit I earn over the course of a year. This is not the amount that I would say to somebody if they said, Kev, how much do you earn? What's your income? What income bracket do you put yourself in? These numbers aren't that. But without going through my business accounts in great detail, I can't really show you the other stuff. And I'll level with you. I haven't finished them yet. So even if I wanted to do that, which I don't particularly want to do, um, I haven't finalized my accounts for the year. I know what the income is because that can't change at this point um, but all of the complicated maths that goes on in the background we're not close that's got to pass through an account and all sorts yet so yeah just be aware not quite as uh, not quite as well paid as the numbers you're about to about to see and hear would potentially indicate although it's certainly been a very good year thank you for that so let's go through the numbers in order of uh, in order of Ignis, is, is, a, is that a technical thing? We're gonna do the highest numbers first and then show you some of the smaller, well, I'm gonna show you everything, but we're gonna do it in order of significance to my overall uh, bottom line. And the biggest income earner for me, as I've talked about before, um, is my other YouTube channel, the Lelujo channel, where I make my football manager content every day. I release two videos every day. I release lots of standalone videos and stuff on there as well. It is where I focus the vast majority of my time. It's the one that I consider to be my full-time job and that has paid in the last year in YouTube ad revenue. This is YouTube ad revenue plus um, YouTube premium income plus um, channel memberships. It's very complicated to actually get a breakdown of how all that fits out of YouTube. It just, I, what I can do though is get this screenshot which gives me the actual income in total, the estimated revenue that I've made um, between the 1st of March 2020 and the end of February 2021 because there's a little bit of a delay on when you get paid on YouTube. So they're the, they, these are the amounts that actually would have hit my bank account over that period of time but it includes everything. So this isn't just ad revenue, it does include the channel membership stuff as well and all that other things. But 
profit. From the Lelujo channel over the course of the last year, I earned £41,468.70. and pence. I will hopefully get Future Kev to put the dollar equivalent to that on the screen as well, so you can see what that would be in dollars. Um, YouTube officially does pay in dollars, but I have all mine set to pounds because I'm in the UK and dollars make no sense to me, although a lot of my income is paid in dollars. That number for the Lelujo channel is significant as well because that's the first time since I've been doing YouTube that that number on its own has been greater than what I earn as my salary when I was still working full time as a teacher. Now, uh, because of the bits that come off it, as mentioned before, it actually still is a little bit below what I was earning as a teacher. But that top line figure, the one that I can actually see looking on the dashboard, has finally vindicated my decision to go full time nearly four years ago. Yes. So that's the Lelujo channel. I, of course, have this channel as well, the Kevin Chapman channel. Um, and this channel, I don't make as much content on. I've only been releasing videos on this once a week throughout 2020 and into 2021, largely because of the pandemic and the fact that we've not been able to go out and do any kind of vlogging. We've had the further complications in the last six months or so of Anna not being able to feature in the vlogs. So it has been difficult to get content out. So we've kind of gone from daily content on this channel for a long, long time down to less than 70 videos over the course of the year and that does reflect in the numbers it's the it's the lowest this channel has been for a little while but still a pretty decent amount of money this channel in the last year made 13,261 pounds and 32 pence again absolutely not to be sniffed at for something that's uh, basically one day's work a week I'll take that all day long for one day's work a week and again that includes the ad revenue channel memberships um, my share of YouTube premium um, and of course it's there is commit not commission but the amount that goes off to the management folk comes off that as well before it hits my bank account so I don't get quite that amount um, but it's not a million miles off that amount so that is a uh, a nice little uh, a nice little learner too which gives me my running total just for YouTube income as £54,730.02 per year. Not too bad. But there are a number of other income sources as well, and I'm going to get into those once we've come back from hearing from Past Kev, who's got a word from this week's episode sponsor. Past Kev here, folks, with a quick message thanking this week's episode sponsors, Skillshare. Now, as you know, Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creators. You can explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in creativity. They have classes on all kinds of topics, ranging from illustration and graphic design through creative writing, fine art, marketing, freelance and entrepreneurship. There's something on here for just about everybody. And I'm particularly excited to get stuck into this class, YouTube Success Script, Shoot and Edit with MKBHD. Marcus Brownlee is one of my favorite content creators here on YouTube and he's now got his very own class on Skillshare telling you how to do YouTube. If you start to see my YouTube content go up another level again in the next weeks and months, a lot of that is going to be to do with this video. He talks about writing scripts, planning and shooting, planning the shoot, doing the shoot itself, the editing, the posting, channel growth tips. This is a guy who has made it and has become one of the top creators here on YouTube, taking you through step by step how he's done it and how you can do it too. So this feels like a pretty good starting point for anyone who might be new to Skillshare. Skillshare is curated specifically for learning, meaning there's no ads and there's new classes on all sorts of topics being added all the time. And it's less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. Plus, the first thousand people to sign up using the link at the top of the description below will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium. You get the opportunity to learn something really cool that's going to interest you whilst also supporting the channel and it not costing you anything. That's win, win, win. That's a triple win, boys and girls. Thanks for supporting the channel and clicking on the link at the top of the description below. Back to past Kev. And we'll actually get into a vague amount of how much money I earn from sponsorships a little bit later in the video. Um, but before that, we're going to continue going through in order of magnitude with the higher numbers first, um, which gives us the next one. The, this next one has been probably the biggest new source of income for my business this year, because it's something I've really focused on this year that I've not really done so much of in the past, and that is Twitch. I now stream three or four nights a week on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Lelujo. It's almost always Football Manager content, so it's an extension of the Football Manager YouTube. YouTube channel um, and I have done it pretty much 
every week throughout this tax year. Well, I've not been doing it the last couple of weeks because I've been sick and there've been a couple of other times where I've, I've missed the odd week here and there. I would say I've probably got 46, 47 weeks of Twitch streaming over the course of this tax year. And that has paid me as a total that includes um, Twitch ad revenue, which is a very small component of this, um, but Twitch subscriptions, um, bits, um, donations I'll link separate, I'll list separately a little bit later on because they don't actually get processed through Twitch, but this is everything that comes through Twitch itself. So Twitch Prime, um, normal subscriptions, the bits, and like I say, the little share of ad revenue that we get as content creators. And Twitch has earned me in the last year, £11,984.70, which puts it almost neck and neck with this channel. There were parts of the year where it actually went ahead of this channel briefly and then they've kind of been battling back and forth throughout the year. It's gonna be interesting to see what happens over the next year or so as the world starts to open up again, as we start to come out of the pandemic and we can start producing a little bit more content on this channel again, which will then probably have the knock-on effect of me not being able to Twitch stream quite as often as I have done this year because I can't stream three or four nights a week if we're not at home, if we're out doing something cool for this channel, which we'll be doing more of this year and hopefully producing more videos here over the course of the next 12 months than we have over the last 12 months. So it'll be interesting in a year's time to see how those two numbers compare then. So the next biggest source of income for me is one I have to be very vague on, and that is brand deals and sponsorships. And these cover the brand deals and sponsorships across all of my uh, all of my platforms. So um, we get a lot of sponsorships on this channel, but I also have um, regular sponsors over on Twitch. I've even done a couple of branded uh, videos over on the Lelujo Football Manager channel as well. So this is like an overall number for all of those. I can't tell you the specifics because within brand deal contracts, and um, they do all have non-disclosure agreements in so I can't tell you specifically how much I've earned for each deal and like if I only had one sponsor all year I couldn't even give you a clue but because we've had multiple different sponsors on multiple different platforms with multiple different campaigns I think it's safe to give you a rough kind of overview of how much that has paid in total because there's no way for you to work out what the individual deals have been within that. So I would say as a rough ballpark figure throughout this tax year, um, or last tax year, I've earned about £6,000 from brand deals and sponsorships. And I would expect that to go up considerably in this year because a lot of those sponsorships are things that we've done in the final three months of the tax year and haven't actually been paid for yet because brand deals tend to get paid sometimes as late as 90 days after you see the content is when the creator actually gets paid so um, we've been doing more and more sponsored and brand deal work over the course of the year um, and right now I've got more brand deals going on than I ever have before and that's been the case for the last couple of months and a lot of those I haven't been paid for yet so it was about six thousand pounds last year I would expect that to push into five figures this year as long as we continue growing that side of the business at the rate we have been so far and then a similar kind of vague number that I can't be too specific about, again, because of the terms of the contract, um, is affiliate deals. Now, I do have a couple of different um, affiliate partnerships that I work with, but one of them is so much more successful than all of the others that the others are almost not worth mentioning. Um, I do bits with Amazon Associates. I've got um, little companies here and there that we work with, but the, by far and away, the one that actually brings in a decent amount of money is the football manager link that I have with Two Game. Um, that I push really heavily when the new game comes out each year to the point where I get mocked for how much I'm talking about it on Twitter and in my Football Manager videos. Um, but when you see how much money it pays, you'll realise why it's worth me pushing as hard as I do because over the course of the year, I've earned about £5,000 from affiliate from affiliate deals and the vast majority of that has been from that two-game Football Manager sponsorship. Again, I can't drill down to exactly um, how much that has paid or how many copies of the game have been bought through my link to get to that amount, but um, we've earned nearly as much just from affiliate stuff as I have from the uh, the standalone brand deals and the two of them combined um, 
in the region of about £11,000 is a nice little bit of supplementary income. It's then right up there with what I'm earning from Twitch and what I'm earning from this channel as an extra nice little income stream. Next up, we've got Patreon. I've kind of taken the focus off Patreon a little bit over the last year, 18 months or so, as I've cut, started to transition people more towards channel memberships on the two channels. Um, not for any particular reason other than the fact that I find Patreon a little bit more um, there's, there's more steps involved for the person who's actually making the donation or subscribing to the content. It's one click to hit the join button here on YouTube to become a channel member either on this channel or on the other channel, whereas there's more steps to go through over on Patreon. But Patreon does actually pay me a much higher percentage than YouTube channel memberships do. So those of you who are still over on Patreon, thank you very much. You are big difference makers. And over the last year, um, my share of what has come through Patreon, because they make this number easy to find, unlike all the other companies and the actual amount that's hit my bank account from Patreon is £4,252.87 so thank you to everybody who's still involved in the Patreon if you've got any ideas for how we can make that Patreon cooler and kind of bring it back and make it more of a significant part of the business again I'm all ears because there have been times in recent years where that Patreon has been over five figures for the year and it's kind of dwindling off as I say as I'm moving the focus more towards channel memberships but if if people are missing stuff on Patreon, if there's something you think I could be doing on Patreon that would cause you to get involved, let me know because I'm all for keeping my eggs in multiple different baskets and I am always a little bit concerned about just how much of my income is very much reliant on YouTube paying me and the more I can get off of the YouTube platform um, and into different areas, the more comfortable I feel knowing that if YouTube does go belly up, it's not gonna be a disaster for me. And that then leads us on to the last of what I would consider the significant income sources this year, and that's merchandise. Now, we've not really done very much in the way of um, like, branded t-shirts or hoodies or anything like that this year. We haven't really had a campaign like that here on this channel. We sell the odd mug or t-shirt and stuff through the Football Manager channel. Um, we've got the little uh, merchandise bar that sits below the videos on both channels so you can buy little bits here and there. They don't pay a huge amount. The vast majority of my merchandise income has come from the custom football shirts that we have made for my YouTube series, both for Home FC and Born FC, um, the two teams that we've been doing creator club series on on YouTube over the last year. That's been a conscious thing that I've been doing over the last couple of years, making sure that I, I, every year I have at least one series on YouTube where I own all the rights to merchandise for that club. So a created club, not a club that like it's all well and good managing Arsenal, but I can't then sell Arsenal shirts or mugs with Arsenal badges on. But if I do a home FC series, I own Home FC, it's my brand, it's my intellectual property, so I can stick it on a mug, I can stick it on a mouse mat, I can stick it on a mask, I never did the masks, but most significantly I can have replica football shirts made up, like that one that's behind me on the wall there, and sell them, and they do really well. Um, we've sold hundreds of them over the last couple of years, both for Home and Born. There's another, another campaign for them coming up very soon. We've got some Born shirts nearly ready to go for the new series for that and over the last 12 months I made £3,646.89 from merchandise. So that's the replica shirts plus all the Teespring bits um, as well. The Teespring element of it is probably less than a couple of hundred quid. The vast majority of that is from the replica shirts. So thank you to everybody who bought one of those. And then there's the last couple of little bits um, that I have to be a little bit vague with because um, one of them I just haven't worked out yet. My, my accounting software that I've got has worked out this number, but it's it's complicated. This is I'm talking about uh, direct donations on Twitch. So if you donate cash rather than donating through bits or subs or gifted subs over on Twitch, it actually comes straight into my PayPal account. Um, but then it gets complicated because I get paid in any, uh, I get paid in all sorts of different currencies. They come into my PayPal account in different currencies. They then have a PayPal fee taken off of them and then they get converted to sterling and then they get sent to my bank account. So this number is vaguely the amount that hits my bank account. I don't have the top line figure for what actually comes in because I don't, 
because of all the currency conversions and I don't need to put that figure on my on my tax return. It's the amount that I actually receive that's a significant one. Um, and that it's around about a thousand pounds for the year is what I've made in uh, direct donations on Twitch. Um, or I guess from other places, but I can't imagine where anyone else is gonna donate from unless it comes through on Twitch. So about a thousand pounds in direct Twitch donations. Thank you very much for those. And then lastly, this one is way down this year and hopefully we'll be back up again now schools are open up and exams will start to come back and that's revenue and royalties from my book i wrote a book the lazy students revision guide like six years ago now and for a lot of that six years it's been one of the more significant income sources for me it usually hits number one in the study skills bestsellers chart over the course of the year and it does quite well this year not so much because there's been no exams and again, this is another slightly complicated one because the book gets sold all around the world. So there's amounts in dollars, in euros. Um, I get, I sell quite a lot of books in India, which I don't fully understand. So there's a lot of currency conversion and stuff that's gone into this one, but the amount that I've actually received into my bank account from book royalties in the last year is about 970 pounds which by my calculations, if I can add up correctly, means in the last tax year, my total income from all sources, and this is, this is a ridiculous number, this is much higher than it's ever been before. Thank you for the support over the last year, folks. This is, this is, uh, this is a crazy number. Um, 87,062 pounds and five pence, which if we, if we do a quick calculation, that means that means only about 60% of my income, or 62%, I think it is, actually comes through YouTube, which that's that's nice. That's never been that low before. It's good that we're starting to build up some of these other income streams as well. So if something does go wrong with YouTube, like what happened, and this is one of the reasons why I did this, because back in March last year, when the pandemic first hit and YouTube ad revenue took a nosedive, um, I panicked. My income halved overnight, and that's when I started doing Twitch again, and that's when I started really, start, really exploring the idea of doing brand deals and focusing more on merchandise and made a conscious effort to shift the business more away from just relying fully on YouTube this year. So it is nice to see that that has happened. So 62% of the income is from YouTube and about 80%, if we include Twitch in there as well, 80% of my income over the year is from is directly from the content that I'm creating. So from YouTube videos, from Twitch streams, which means 20% of what I'm earning is now the extra stuff, the kind of passive income that goes alongside the brand that I'm building, which is really cool because that's just over 20,000 pounds a year now that is coming in extra to what I'm kind of getting for the work that I'm doing. Um, <laughs> what is that? I didn't mean to, I'm not pretending it's not work. That's more of a, you know, the actual sitting down, making the videos, doing the streaming. Um, I'm earning another 20 grand on top of that just because of the work that I've put in on there and the brand that has been built off the back of it. And that is is really cool and helps with the, helps with the whole not panicking thing as well. So. I can't hide from it. It has been an absolutely fantastic year. Thank you to everyone who's been a part of it. Thank you to everyone who's supported us um, through this year as well. It has been absolutely incredible. And now I guess looking at those figures, we've got to try and push for six figures in this coming year, haven't we? It's the kind, it's kind of ridiculous numbers that I never thought I'd ever get anywhere near. Um, certainly when I left my job and started doing this and was earning next to nothing, um, we took a big risk. It is paying off nicely now and now let's just see how silly these numbers can get, I guess. It's a bit mad. I hope this video has not come across as really braggy. I deliberately didn't do this video way back when because I was aware of roughly what the numbers would look like and I didn't want to look like it was a, it was a flex. But so many people asked for me to do this, I thought, well, let's do it, see what people think. If everybody hates it, I'll know never to do it again. But for me, I like watching this kind of video because I like to compare myself to other people and get an idea of, of what other people are earning because I, th I just find it really interesting. I don't really have this whole taboo thing about money that a lot of people have. I'm, I'm happy to talk about what I earn, um, always have been, and um, I I don't, I don't mind hearing what other people earn, whether it's more or less than what I do. So for me, it's, it's fine. I know it's potentially gonna be a little bit uncomfortable for some other people. Um, if it was, know that I'm not gonna do it again for another year. Um, but if, if enough people liked it, we'll perhaps make this a yearly thing where we check in and see how we're getting on. But we're gonna wrap the video up there. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. If you have, please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on there for me. Subscribe to the channel for 
all sorts of exciting stuff coming. Seriously, there's exciting stuff coming. May the 1st. Circuit on your calendar. May the 1st. And thank you very much for watching.